Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can create the bar chart in Tableau. So to create a bar chart, first we need to identify the category on which we want to create a bar chart. So here we have a category like uh, product category or product name itself or on the state. I mean that repeated dimension on which you want to create a bar chart. So something like if you want to see based on the product category how is their quantity or the price information is then we can simply create one bar chart that gives us a good visualization giving the information that we are seeking so let's go ahead and choose this product category field over here and let's put it here in the columns so putting it in a column create a different categories or give us the information of all the values present here in this category field now a bar chart we need to pick one measure, price, quantity, or subtotal, whatever is given in your case. So in my case, I will just choose quantity and put it there in the rows section. So as soon as I put this field into the rows section, you can see a one part report created by Tableau. So it's because within the row, we are identifying a measure and click view engine is smart enough to identify okay if this is the configuration that you are giving then the right way to visualize this data is the bar chart so you can uh, create a bar chart very quickly like this and adjust the size and everything like just simply drag it towards the right and gives me the clearer more clearer picture it's easy to see this bar chart so that's one very quick and easy way where you can create the bar chart. Uh, but the real difficulty comes when we want to add some more complexity to it. Something like a new category that we want to add to, to see how these categories are performing within the other categories. So for example, if I want to see how it is across the different cities, then I need to pick the city column and put it there beside the category column. So when I put beside the category column, I add this that my main categories are up there and the subcategories are down there, which is the city information. Now here it is being identified that within the Raleigh cake sales are really good and then Garner and Durham. And same is the case identify across different categories how this, their sales are in different cities but one thing which bothers me is this repetition of uh, city names in each and every category so remove this kind of a repetition and put some more neat bar chart showing these categories then you can choose one of the very good option which is using the colors within the w uh, system so for that what we can do is put drag this city field columns and put it there on the colors and put it on the colors we see a much better visualization here which gives us the overall information that cakes is a category with in which highest quantity is being sold and then the maximum quantity is being uh, given into the raleigh city and similarly you can the result of uh, other bars which is in front of you and give the meaningful information users so that's how you can see it's, it's pretty much easy to give this information um, few few things maybe we what we can do is uh, putting the label on these bars so for that choose quantity field again and drag it over to the label field and here you can see the label information is displayed possible way by the tablet system itself so so that's how you can make your uh, bar chart interactive and more useful for the use end user so that it looks meaningful and delivers the best result so that's pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video for and i will meet you in the new video the new topic